Welcome back to the American Truck Simulator video. Today we got some braided cable. Giant braided cable going from Durango, Colorado to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, a 38,360 pounds. Be using the Western Star with the sleeper with the Detroit DD16 600 horsepower with the Allison 7 speed automatic transmission. I don't know what the hell they're going to use this cable for, but that's some big braided cable. Doesn't matter to me anyway. I'm just here to deliver the load. So let's jump in and get going. We're departing from Drango from the tidbit here. Go ahead and turn the lights off. It's daytime. We don't need those on. We got 216 miles. It's going to take about four hours to get there. Thirty-eight thousand pounds. We got over half a tank of fuel, so we should be good on that fuel situation. We're playing in version one point forty beta with the new uh, lighting engine and graphics and all that good shit. We're just gonna pull out here and block traffic because we're we can. Got 4,000 miles on this old truck already. Well, new truck, I guess. It's pretty new. We do got an engine sound mod on, so this engine may sound different than what other people's engine sounds like. I wasn't very happy with the way the default engine sounded. I wasn't impressed with it, didn't like it, and it just, I don't know. I didn't ever really like the way the Western Star engine sounded when they... Even when they first put it in, it just didn't sound good to me. Took an air brake mod on so you can hear the air brakes and all that good crap. We're just going to go ahead and, well, we're just going to move over into the other lane, but we'll wait it out, I guess. Like how they got the 30 mile an hour speed limit sign, then they got a 25 mile an hour speed limit sign. Unless, what does it say? Unless otherwise posted. So that means the speed limit is 35 or 25. Because it's posted right before the sign it said 35. I guess that means it's 35. I don't know if that's... Is he? We'll get another lane here. Coast line, coast line mining. Coast, coast line. Coast line. See a flatbed a spread axle over there. A little motorcycle on it. That's pretty neat. The hell of a load. I like, know how they got that thing up there. Had to be like a dock or something, huh? We're going to get into that other lane over there. Unfortunately, we should just stay over there. 
I'm coming over bus, so you might as well just get used to that idea right now. We got Project NG graphics mod installed with their weather mod also and a skybox. We're not using reshade, we're using NVIDIA's game filter, which is basically reshade. Same thing, that's the same. Pick that big old pile of dirt. Leaving color for Colorado. Welcome to New Mexico. We finally got us enough money to buy us a new uh, new truck. We'll decide which one we're gonna buy. I got a Peterbilt 389 and I got a Freightliner Classic already. I'm liking this Western Star quite a bit. This is the truck I started with, the first one I bought. Bought it as a day cab. Went to the mid sleeper and then we ended up with the high rise sleepers, which is what we got right now. We're gonna get over here so we can turn. Then we're going to be in the left lane so we can turn left too, okay. 550 south. I remember if this trailer got steer axles or not, I think it does. And 550 South is what we want to take, so we're going to turn here to Albuquerque. We don't need to go to Farmington. Donuts. I don't really like the new Western Star. The day camp was alright. It was good for like logging. I don't know. That's the only thing it really seemed like it was good for. Once a sleeper, I like it. It goes good with flatbed. It even looks pretty good with a dry van on or a reefer. Seventy miles an hour. This Detroit DD sixteen with his Allison transmission seven speed uh, seems to do pretty good together. That's the three point five five differential your ratio. Looks a little cloudy, like it might rain or something, huh?
That was a weird sound. There may be a jackhammer on the road over there or something. I flipped over, didn't I? <laughs> How the hell that happened? Flex to be them. Nice little canyon here, valley we gotta go through. Some red rock there. Kind of reminds me of BMNG's Utah map. Can't wait until the official version of 1.40 comes out. That's going to be pretty good. They've already fixed quite a few things from when they first released the beta. I think we're up to 1.40.0.59s. I think the first one they released was 50 or 5s. So they've updated it three times so far from what I can tell. Or seen. I'm going to attempt to do a live stream here. I'll let, let you know when I plan on doing that in the next couple of days. Probably be over this weekend. I'm thinking Saturday. Which would be the 13th of February. This is 2021.
do wish they'd fix the whole merging thing, but I don't see that being fixed anytime soon, really. <laughs> they'd probably have to rewrite the traffic or something. I'm not 100% sure how all that works. Good God, we just kill each other trying to get over. Making a little right turn right here, Exton. And then we're almost there. We got him about another 15 more miles to go. We should be Santa Fe. Little Jeep pulling a little side by side. That's pretty neat. I like to see little trailers like that in traffic. It's a more realistic feeling. Engine brake use prohibited. Veterans Memorial Highway. Magic Sky Bloom Festival. I remember going to uh, New Mexico, seeing all the blooms and everything, hot air blooms. It's it's pretty cool. Never rode in a hot air balloon. Hell, I've never rode an airplane. Rode in a helicopter. Not an airplane. Not a hot air balloon. Never been skydiving. Never done none of that. What I do if I had a chance? Yes, I would. Always. You know, you only live once, so if you get the chance to do something like that, I would say suggest you do it. Of course, that's just me. Always up for anything new. Like new experiences. Being stuck in weird situations. I don't know why, but I do. I think it's the not knowing what the hell is going to happen next thing is what it really I like. I think we got to get it in here. Right here beside this other one, I do believe. We're just going to go ahead and use the outside view. And should have known that would have been a collision, a square collision block, box. And we've got it all screwed up. I don't even know if that's the right place to put it. 
Can't tell. Looks like I see a little line right there. We'll just, yeah. Yeah, close enough. That's good enough for them. Good enough for me. Twenty-two hundred sixteen miles, five hours, seven minutes, twenty-nine point seven gallons of fuel, about eighty-nine thousand four hundred forty-five dollars from that load. Level one hundred twenty-seven. Divine champion. Uh, that ain't right. Really, I'd only be like level twenty or something like that, but. But to have all the, everything unlocked for the truck, so I can use cheat coding or cheat engine. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.